the presence of numerous bruises, particularly on the trunk, thighs, and arms, is always abnormal. It can be a sign of a clotting disorder or toxic levels of anticoagulants. Bruising can also be the result of physical trauma or abuse. Whether medical or social in origin, the presence of significant bruising is a red flag and needs follow-up. Medical and nursing staff are legally required to report suspected abuse. Always ask how bruising occurred. Also note the presence of scars. Old scars are usually white. Newer scars are dull red. And very fresh scars may be bright red. Some people form keloids during healing, which is an overgrowth of granulation tissue. Keloids are raised, rubbery, and dull red. Depending on the location, they may cause cosmetic issues, and large keloids can impede movement because they lack the elasticity of normal skin. As you examine the skin's surfaces, make note of any lesions or growths. Skin is prone to a variety of minor lesions. Cherry angiomas are collections of tiny blood and lymph vessels at the skin surface that vary in size from pinpoint to perhaps a quarter of an inch or 6.5 millimeters. They are benign and rarely cause problems, although bleed profusely if cut. A macule is a small, flat, colored lesion, usually brown, white, or red. A common freckle and a flat mole are good examples of a macule, although macules may also appear as a rash. A patch is a large macule, at least two centimeters in diameter. A papule is small, less than 0.5 centimeters, firm, closed, and raised above the surface of the skin. Examples include closed blackheads and whiteheads. A nodule is like a papule except larger, usually 0.5 to 5 centimeters in diameter, with distinct edges and firmly rooted. A nodule greater than 0.8 inches or 2 centimeters in diameter is considered to be a tumor. They are associated with keratinous cysts, lipomas or fatty tumors, fibromas, and some types of lymphomas. Plaque is greater than one centimeter in diameter, flat and raised. The edges may be distinct or may gradually blend with the surrounding skin. Vesicles are small, fluid-filled, raised lesions. They tend to be transparent. Fungal rashes comprised of small, red, weeping vesicles may occur, particularly in skin folds on overweight individuals or in the perineal area of patients who are incontinent and have skin excoriation. If a vesicle is larger than 0.2 inches or 5 millimeters across, it is called a bulla or blister. Sunburn, insect bites, chemical irritation, and some viral infections, such as herpes, can cause vesicles and boule to form. Pustules are pus-filled vesicles. They are not necessarily infected, but may be. They are commonly called pimples, such as those seen in acne. Wheels or hives are skin elevations caused by swelling. They often itch and usually disappear rather quickly. They are generally associated with an allergic reaction to an insect bite. Talangiectasia refers to small, dilated blood vessels close to the surface of the skin. They may appear in clusters called spider veins. They are usually harmless and asymptomatic, but may cause cosmetic issues.